What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm going to do a real quick tutorial here on how to create a Photoshop template. Uh, for the sake of time, I've already got some assets over here in my finder window and I'm going to work on this side. So start off, I've got a 1200 pixel by 1200 pixel Photoshop file here. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to do a new guide layout here, five columns by five columns. It's going to give me a very simple square pattern setup, and I'm going to roll with that. So I'm going to create just a, let's go with black and just do a black square in the middle here. And then let's go and create, uh, let's do some sample text. And we'll just call it text. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Make it pretty big. Uh, we'll use this as kind of a headline font. So we'll sort of center it up down here. And let's make one more like a placeholder. And we'll do something like this. And let's just put it, put it over here to the side. Okay, so got a couple shapes, got some text, file save, hit OK. Test template, you can see it update over here. So to turn this into a template, it's pretty simple. Control click, go down to rename. Simply add a T to the end of your file name. Press enter. It's going to ask if you want to use that. Yes. Now it is a Photoshop template file. So I can go ahead and close out of here. Now when I double click on here to open it, you'll notice that at the top it is now untitled one. That's because it is a template file. So you can see template over here and untitled here. So let's go through and let's make a very quick uh, graphic here using our guy Luca. And we're going to use the black box as kind of our main image boundary. So we'll drop them in and we'll press enter. Option click between layers and we'll parent it in. There we go. Centered up. And then let's take this other look a photo here and we'll just for a background texture kind of blow it up there slide it over and we'll drag that underneath and let's make that a little bit bigger okay and just for some style purposes let's make a copy command t we'll flip horizontal now we've got it this way and let's mask that off like that and we'll hit our mask button here we'll unlink it let's adjust our mask let's turn our guides back on uh, command semicolon there we go so now we've kind of got let's just turn them off command semicolon there and so we've got a background element and let's hold down shift control and I'm just doing all this to show every just to kind of show you what you can do and uh, we'll go shift command U desaturate it make a new layer above uh, we'll just kind of pick a blue Mavericks blue and let's just kind of go down until we find one that I guess looks sort of okay soft light let's say soft light that one generally works okay there's that and we're gonna call this Luca and for the text color let's kind of sample this green that's in there all right we'll drag our Mavericks logo in here and we're gonna use the orange square as our as our placeholder for that, kind of give it like a nice little crop there. And now let's bring in our last texture here. So we've got a kind of an oil slick uh, pattern going on. And we'll drag that underneath. Let's go ahead and drag that under all these and we'll take these two We'll group them in a folder. We'll mask that folder. Oops, I did that the wrong way. Apologize. 
it's going to mask that folder like that. There we go. Uh, let's do something kind of like this. Okay. Rasterize this layer. Desaturate it too. Not really loving this background color here, so let's pick a new color. Let's go with the uh, go with green. No, that's not good either. In fact, let's just get rid of that one. That's not working. So let's take this. This is all trial and error. I'm just freestyling right now. So let's scale this up. Yeah, let's do something kind of like this. We'll copy that again. Let's grab them both. And scale all that up some more. And we'll take our text right here and we'll copy it this way. Let's do a horizontal flip on that. Nudge it over so our L's match up. And then let's do a, let's slide it this way. There we go. We're kind of getting some. Let's turn our fill down on that. Go into our layer style here and Take our stroke, make it the same color, bump it up to two. Let's make sure our greens are the same. There we go. Let's copy our layer style. Control, click, paste our layer style. All right, so now we kind of have this going on here. Um, you know, not the best looking graphic, but the point is, is that you now, when you save this, you'll save this to your template folder. We'll call it Luca. And so there it is. Here's our, our template. So what, what you've got now is you have a go-to. And so the next time you can come in here and you can just drop in your pieces simply by changing this to a PSDT. And if you need to make any adjustments to it, you come back in, delete your T, press enter, use PSD, yes you do. Double click on that, and there you go. And so now your text can be moved up here if you want. If you want a top text, you won't like where your other placeholder is, you can move it down there. File save, and you'll see it update right there. And so now when you add your T back, press enter, use this, yep. Double click on that. Well, you have to close it first. Double click on that, and now you have a new untitled file to work with. And you can come in and create your Luca piece here. Got an interesting uh, face whenever he's shooting three pointers. So let's mask that off. Delete. Just kind of off center that and just see what happens and then bring this over here scale it up do a hue and parent that a little bit more blue and we'll do luca and white turn off our guts so we can see what we're doing here 
And let's click here as our placeholder and drop our Mavs logo one more time. Centered up. Apple T, we'll free transform. There we go. Make sure you hold down shift so you don't warp what you're doing. And then let's just kind of, let's build some shapes on top of here. We'll do, let's make sure that's black. I'll come over here and do a black. And then let's come in on top and do a fill with a dark gray. I like to use linear burn. We'll mask that. And using the bracket key, we'll scale up our brush. We got it at 100%, nice and big. And we'll kind of vignette that. I'll add another layer on top of there. Let's pick a uh, like a lighter blue. A little soft like there. Soft like there. Let's kind of paint it over the top. There we go. Let's do like we did in our other template and kind of give it a. Rasterize this layer, rasterize layer. We'll do shift command U. So now that's black and white. And uh, yeah, what number is he? 77. Let's pick a nice tungsten font. We can press 77. Let's bring it on top. Sample that green that we had before. A bit heavier. There we go. Quick and dirty, this is just showing you that if you want to make a template on the fly, you can, and this will be able to help you in a, and if you're working in a game or something like that, uh, easy way to go. So let's just save this out as uh, we'll do Luca 2. Okay, and so now we have two Luca templates uh, in our original template up here. So I hope that helps you guys and how to just do a template that's non-destructive. You can save out all your files, but just you can make multiple templates of any kind of text variations or logo drops or graphics that you want and um, just kind of save them all out to the side, but just quick, handy, easy, go-to things. Hope that helps.